Hey everyone. It is such a beautiful fall day. Um, these are those days that are just about indescribable, but I decided to bring the kitchen outside today and the ingredients you see here, short of those hot peppers, they're going to become a pot of white beans when I'm going to cook them over um, over wood chunks, wood fired. So I'm not going to be adding the onions and these peppers right away. I'm going to add those about two thirds of the way through, just getting the beans cooked. These are these are poblano peppers, and I had several bushes of these back behind the shop. These will go from a dark green uh, to a chocolate brown, and I don't know if you can see the color on that pepper, but you need to leave these on the bush until they achieve that chocolate brown even coloring. Uh, they turn really sweet. They're they're a little spicy, but I, you can't call them hot. They are tasty though, and they're about as thick walled as a bell pepper. Uh, so these are really good, and I've got a lot of them, so I'm going to figure out something to do. Um, I'm thinking of making a combination poblano jalapeno sauce. Now these um, these are all hot jalapeno, so I'm going to do a, some sort of sauce with these. And I was thinking about cutting it with these, um, just to still be a warm sauce, but it'll have a, some, some interesting flavor, so that's probably going to be coming later today. As I said, we have a ton of these. We have this many of these if not more. So I'm going to start off with some white. These are some great northern beans I soaked in a crock overnight and a couple of changes of water and cleaned them out. So they're going to go in this Dutch oven. And I'm not going to be using the lid for this Dutch oven. You don't need it uh, when you cook in that style of grill. Because you put the lid on that and that becomes the lid for the entire dish. Okay, this egg is right at temperature, so I'm going to regulate the heat on it. There and there, and I want, a, I want a real slow, steady cook on these. I've covered the beans in that stock. It was about four cups total, and the beans are just, just submerged with some of the beans sticking above the, the stock. And what I'll do is I'll cook until that liquid's gone, add it to that level again and that's when I start seasoning um, with salt and pepper or anything else and then about the last time I put water on is when I'll add the onions and the peppers and this is just one way to make white beans and there are a ton of different ways everybody has something different but today I just wanted to make them with onions and peppers um, and have them with cornbread later okay so we just put them in and now they're going to sit here for, I'm thinking about the next six hours. So I'm just going to close that and let it do its thing. And I'll just monitor the temperature and keep it at that 200 degree mark. Um, adding liquid as I need. That's really all there is to it. Green Egg's going to do the work now. And I'll come back when we're adding some other things. Man, it's a nice day out here. Alright, so I've got that to a simmer and I've added just a little bit of water and I'm just this is the part where I get the beans cooked and then I slow everything down uh, and start um, actually preparing the dish right now I just want to get those beans a little softer than, they, than when they went in so it's looking good it's smelling great this is a nice heaping tablespoon of minced garlic. We just get the minced stuff in the jar at Aldi. It's good stuff. So let that stir in. Just about ready to add some more water on top. But they're still floating pretty good. And they don't feel as hard as they did a lot earlier, you know. This big change, and it happens all at once with these white beans. Suddenly, you just know they're done. So we'll stir the garlic in. Let me get the onions and the peppers minced up, ready to go in. So I just want a medium dice on these. 
not too small, but not big chunks. Do the peppers up in just about the same size dice. turns on this mill will give me about three quarters of a teaspoon of pepper and as I said you add pepper and salt to your taste and we're gonna give them a look a little bit of a stir it's just gentle bubbling all over so when I'm stirring now I'm not feeling that hard little rattle that comes up to the spoon when the beans are hard and they're starting to form that creamy uh, soup broth that right there uh, so we put the onions and peppers in about 10 minutes ago so I'm just gonna get one bean out of there I'm gonna give this a try it's still just a touch al dente so by the time that's a piece of the pepper man that's good so by the time those onions and peppers soften fully up at that rate of boil one more hour and these are going to be well, they're going to be ready um, I can just taste a little bit of the I can taste the spice from the poblano but not the heat it's it's not heat but it's really good so we'll come back when we're getting ready to put them into a bowl All right, here's what they look like when they are done it's got that this is the smoke flavor, so you want to stir all that in, but you're going to have a little bit of a, a brown top on this, and then underneath is just creamy, mm, beautiful beans. And there's nothing to do except get a bowl and, uh, and have at it. See, they have that soupiness. Yeah, guys. Beans. One way. Enjoy.